It is just, you know, it's the sport bring you that heat and that fire. <laughs> Carl Malone, man, this dude is a dirtbag human being. <laughs> man, you know what? I want to laugh, but I got to get serious for a second. This is sad. What Carl Malone is showcasing is pure beta and super beta tendencies. That crap that he pulled back in 2004 season when the Los Angeles Lakers went out and got Gary Payton and Carl Malone. Carl Malone's intention was to get with Kobe Bryant's wife. This is what you call pure beta and super beta tendencies. When you see guys try to force themselves on another guy's wife and the wife is not even checking for them, that's what pure betas and super betas do. They try to cock block. Let me say it again. They try to cock block. There was no way Vanessa Bryant was going to leave a true alpha, apex predator, i.e. in the black mamba form of Kobe Bryant for Karl Malone. Even though Kobe Bryant was going to the 2003 situation in Colorado. Let me tell you something about true outfits like a Vanessa Bryant. They don't deal with high octane betas, a.k.a. alpha one. Look at Karl Malone's basketball career. It's been nothing but relegated to high octane beta, aka alpha wannabe nonsense. He didn't win a championship. He got exposed by Scottie Pippen. He got exposed by Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman made him his lap dog. Let me say it again. Dennis Rodman made him his lap dog. MJ straight punked Karl Malone. Even Kevin Garnett, when Karl Malone was doing all that nonsense where he was trying to kick out, because that's what he used to do, that cheating thing where he would just kick at your nuts. Kevin Garnett was like, you try that fuck shit one more time, I'm going to beat your ass. Let me say it again. You try that fuck shit one more time, I'm going to beat your ass. Carl Malone has been a uh, consistency of what he's always been his whole career. He's no different than a Charles Barkley. He's just another iteration of it. It's called Loser Personified. Let me say it again. It's called Loser Personified. He's a capital L, a freaking loser. Extraordinaire. Like I said. This is what pure betas and super betas do. They try to come in into a true alpha's territory. But true alphas don't need to sit there and get hot and bothered like Ritz because they know what they are. They're men with confidence, purpose, and an abundance mindset. You heard Vanessa Bright. She showed you where her loyalty lies. She said, I only rocks with champions. I only marry champions. And I only stick with champions. <laughs> Let me say it again. I rocks with champions. I only stick with champions. And I only marry champions. How many times Kobe Bryant won? Let me say it again. The man won five times. He's a five-time champion. Therefore, he has certified and qualified himself five times over for Vanessa Bryant. Vanessa Bryant was the other one that also said... That every time Kobe Bryant wins a championship, she passes him out sexually. <laughs> so that tells you right there, uh, she only rocks with champions. This is why I try to tell people. It's called alpha economics. People don't understand this. I need to write a book about this stuff. Because I know this thing in leagues and trolls. Pure betas and super betas, like Carl Malone, trashed individuals, will be the oddball left out. Look at him. He's lonely. He's left alone in his life. Matter of fact, a few weeks ago, this trashed individual talked and got on TV to talk about how he was able to, quote unquote, get in Kobe's head. No, he did. Because where is he at right now? I think he brought his bad luck with him to the Los Angeles Lakers. And that's why they didn't even win the damn title. It had nothing to do. You know what? I don't even blame Shaquille O'Neal no more. Because Shaquille O'Neal is a champion. I don't blame Gary Payton. I blame freaking Carl Malone and his cursed Utah Jazz self because Utah Jazz is a consistency of not winning nothing. He brought down John Stockton. He brought down that whole team. Jerry Sloan, all of them. It was because of Carl Malone because if you look at Carl Malone in the high degree of pressurized situation, he always failed in the highest moments. That's his truest and his most properest levels. That's what he's always been in his life, a failure. So you thought you being a failure, looking like the old pervert, was going to make a move on Vanessa Bryant? Last time I checked, wasn't Vanessa Bryant deterred? 
Wasn't she disturbed? Didn't she look at you like you're a freaking freak? When you see a woman, and see, I'm going to educate you guys and give you guys some alpha economics. When you see a woman look at you like a creep, that's the worst thing in the world. That's how Vanessa looked at Carmelo, like a freaking creep. And she went back to Kobe Bryant and told Kobe Bryant what Carmelo did. That tells you everything you need to know. So Carl Malone, you get the biggest what? Higgity hush of a fucking day. This is Hino's Sport. Check it out.